Brent Nansel is ready to toss it up. And the third official is Trey Maddox underway from Atlanta and Hunter. Fournier, defended by Trey, gets to the foul line, and Trey knocks it out of his hand. This, this is how you win games when your best player is making that effort. And a bullet pass by John Collins. And this is Alec Burks on the bounce to Randall. Going in on Gorgie Jang. Puts it up and in. I mean, great defense contest and pretty darn good defensively. And a, a, a solid rim protector himself. I mean, there's not many, as I say that, we give up the lob, but there's not many Clint Capellas around the league you can put in to, to hold the fort down until you get them back. Trey from 16 gets the bounce. First field goal for Trey. Is so good around that rim. They roll him time after time. Corner three for Fournier. Got to get to Fournier. Great job by R.J. Barrett. Just probing and probing. And <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mitchell's from Pensacola. Back to the basket. Collins turns and fires and hits. And count it. A foul on Randall. Great hustle by Big O. Just getting his hand on the ball. Not allowing R.J. to get that offensive rebound. Trey in tight quarters to Akagu. The handoff, John Collins to Kevin Herter. Shot clock at five. Collins runs into Robinson on the double team. Trey has time and room and buries it. And, and it's all about ball movement and patience. You want to impress and you want to show, obviously, your old team <laughs> that, you know, you can't produce. And, you know, this is like, it's just like a breath of fresh air for a young guy. And, There's the pick and roll with Gallo. Ooh, great cut. And TLC gets the land. Great pass by Lou. Go, go, go. Quickly. Good. Got to get to that guy because he does not wait. Get to the paint and work their way out. So, yes, push the ball, get into a pick and roll, and you're going to have all type of opportunities. Here's R.J. Barrett. Which way did he go? Gallo, there you go. Throw it down, big fella. Take them to the upper room, Gallo. Let them know what they've missed out on all these years. <laughs> Top it. Get, get to this guy. Burks hits the three. Alec Burks at 41% from downtown this year. No, he has not been that in his New York career. Knicks are up by six, and Trey with a step back three. They're going to call that a two foot on the line. 11 for Dre. See, now you have Hunter guarding, the, playing the four, guarding Julius Randle, who I tell you what, guarding Julius Randle is a painful feat. Randle with a pretty good shot on Trey on the screen, goes up and scores again. 55-47. Tipped, and it's going to be Barrett tipping it ahead to Burks. A great hustle play. Julius with the dunk, and the Knicks go up 57-47. Struggled a little bit. Like R.J. Barrett, he he is they're, they're, those, These two guys are great when they go left because they're so strong and they can finish. And that's now that needs to be the change of, of, of plan here. They can have to work a little bit. Now he's dictating what he wants to do, and he gets to his patented moves. Not a little give-and-go action, but it's Fournier coming to the Knicks. What's your take on what, what you're seeing here in this first half? But I like what he said. You know, more of a sense of urgency. Everybody loading to the ball, helping each other. You can't. The communication defensively, uh, it, when a guy, like, right, for instance, now, DeAndre Hunter's guarding the ball, you're hearing four voices behind you, not just one. Yeah. Playing without the backbone of that defense, Clint Capella. R.J. Barrett connects on a three, and the Hawks are going to take an early timeout. It's lacking right now for the Hawks, and you just have to stay the course. And it, it's just, it's, it's a tough thing. Defense in this league is tough because of great offensive scores. But if you communicate, you can get past a lot of this. Eight points for DeAndre Hunter and a ten-point game. Burks high post to Randall. Quick turnaround for two. Now. Oh, down goes John, up to Burks, down to Barrett. RJ, inside position for Robinson. There it is. Sometimes he will settle for that jump shot when he has the ability to beat guys off the dribble. 
So you just want to play solid defense. Lob, JC, from Trey. Get a stop and get back and get out in transition. Hawks getting back into the paint. Oh, a great block by Kongwu. Great. Ahead to Trey, two on one the other way. Trey got it, maybe got away with the travel, but he hits the three and Thibodeau is in disbelief. Randall to the wing and Fournier. Uh-oh. Left wide open. Julius Randle hits a three. And it's just the extra effort. Yes, nobody's there, but who knows if John Collins still jumps and just jumps in the air. Agogu screens. Cross court to Hunter. Fakes. Trey, end of the clock. Step back for three. Bottom. There you go. Hawks fall back into the zone. So if you're a Congo, you want to be aware of the center. Ryan from long distance. That's his second three tonight. Cabrero feeds Gallinari. Bangs with Barrett. Shoots and misses. And a Congo there. Taj Gibson. <laughs> Jump to <laughs> too, too soon. soon. <laughs> about playing the entire 24 seconds of the clock defensively. Seven seconds here to the end of the period. Lou gives it up. Gallo for three. Good. Swiss. Great pass by Lou. Great denial by TLC right there. Making it tough. Now putting the Knicks deep into the shot clock. So and first carries the three on the rescreen. <laughs> Onyeka Kongwu hands it over. Lou on the bounce. Wing three for Cabarro is there. You make Gallo sense. dancing around outside, outside with nine, eight. Gallinari has used his dribble. Finds a cutting of Kongwu for the jam. Yes, great pass and great patience by Gallo because he could have forced that too. But this time Julius to the basket. Oh, rejected by a Kongwu at the rim. Oh my goodness, what a block. Down the middle, and a Kongwu rolls and lays it in. And that's what you love about a young fella in today's game. Not contest by TLC, and this is what you want. This is the energy boost. Lou for two. Swish! Lou Will is always on time. Trying to get back in this game. Mitchell Robinson on the handoff. Here's Burks. Inside to Mitchell. He'll jam it. And, and, and there you're learning. If I'm Gallinari, I'm... Lou Will, up top to Gallo. Burks defending. Gallinari drills it. But yet, this young fellow who's been sitting and watching. Oh, Lou Will for three. And I'm going to say it again. Lou Will is always on time. Just under the seven-minute mark in the fourth quarter. Randall hands it over. Fournier, side saddle, backs up, fires, and hits. That's it. Randall, cross court, Fournier. Wright tracks it. Shot good. Timeout Atlanta. Finds Kevin. Baseline. Randall cuts him off. Herter dives in, flips it in. What a move. Oh, he's not George Gervin, but he can finger roll. <laughs> Staggered screen for Burks. RJ Barrett. A little too close for comfort to that rim that time, and Barrett burned him. A lot crowd standing. Collins misses the three. Hunter up to get the rebound, and Kevin secures it. Trey with it. He'll drive on Burks and lay it in. Evan Fournier comes to the top, has Gallo now in a switch. Herter is on Randall. Julius fires it cross court, catch and shoot. Barrett good. Three pointer right in front of the Hawks bench. Two man game on the wing. Julius spins. Collins comes over, got a hand on it. Randall, oh, he got away with a travel, and a foul is called. Julius Randall again against Gallinari. Burks will drive it on Trey, shovels to Robinson for the jam. Timeout Atlanta. From the Hawks in the second unit, second unit, and in the last six minutes when it when it counts, they delivered and got the job done. John Collins, it's a three-pointer.